Welcome back to Progressive Field in Cleveland as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. For the Indians. All right, Heidi, thank you. And that'll bring in Fran Lorenz. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. A ball of no strikes. Some action now in the Tigers' bullpen as they'll get a left-hander and a right-hander up to throw. The 1-0. Oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. Hey. Two and one now. Two balls, one strike. Ball three. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Now this is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch. That's too good to pass up. Popped him up. Perez has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. Center fielder, In now, 16. Victor Robles. A base Victor. hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Counts even at one and one to Victor Robles. The one-one home is strike two swinging. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, Jeffrey, right? All he wants to do is get on yeah, base yeah. and take advantage of the strength no, of his game, not. which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Yachty Molina digging in now. As he'll yeah. take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. And this one misses to the Cleveland backstop. It's even at a ball and a strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. The 1-1 home. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Mancini will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tribe. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7-0. Ready once again, Nicholas Castellanos. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Nick Castellanos. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. And he fouls this one off. The one one. Oh, that helped couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count and there's a fastball well off the plate inside it's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter if he finds a way to get on base this could spell for a huge inning oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field 
gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot off the bat of Nick Castellanos as they've widened this lead to eight now. So that was the third home run for these guys today. Yeah, Dan, this doesn't make sense. It's absolutely freezing outside. The last place you want to be is in a batter's box, and this offensive team is driving balls out of the yard. This is what's crazy about the game of baseball, yeah, Dero. You would think yeah. under these conditions, it would be all in favor of the pitchers. That has been anything but the case so far in this one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Wind up and the 0 1. And it's 1 and 1. That's a little bit outside. 2 and 1. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now a little pop up here right in front of the plate. Santana in foul ground and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. That's exactly that. what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ty Cobb. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a fastball oh, off the plate away. A ball and a strike. Trying to go the other way. This is looped out toward third. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. Carlo. Digging in now, Carlos Correa. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. Misses, ball two. in the air out to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate Omar Vizquel will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Two and oh now. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there guys may have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. High and away not close three and oh got through the fifth all right but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Three balls and a strike to Vizquel. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet. So maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Ready for another shot now. Jonathan VR. It was a walk in his last trip. He 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead 0-1. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. I always like watching pitchers now that attack with their fastballs right until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one. And there was another good fastball for a strike out there. And here's Christian Yelich now as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh no hits to this point. The one oh home. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Inside, ball one. Let it rip that time 3 0, but the fastball's by him. 3 and 1. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far. But after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. So here's Francisco Lindor now. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a line drive base hit to left field and they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with yeah, one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Yeah. Looked like the guy on second had to respect oh, yeah. it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down but eventually does get to third base. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Well, the Indians have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. There's one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Mitch Keller enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 23, Mitch So here's Trey Mancini. A hit in two tries so far. The right fielder. Trey Mancini. First delivery to him on the way. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Lifted in the air to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now bad. Mike Mustakis will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game as we flash you back here to his second home run. 
This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Hit hard to the right, but foul. One out, nobody on. Even one and one count to Mustakis. And now pitch on the way. Ball. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. George Springer will be next. Bases are empty. One man out. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that one. At the plate now, George Springer. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Smoke toward third. Bryant is up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit as the lead holds at eight to nothing. Jay Happ gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 33, Jay Hatt. Standing in, Carlos Santana. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Nope. And that misses for ball one. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. Line drive to left. Springer is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. And here's Fran Reyes stepping in. First offering on its way. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Lifted in the air out to right. Mancini is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Victor Robles digging in now. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A high fastball is in there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Liner towards second. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. 
outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good Back baseball player four. drive the ball at the opposite yeah, field. Yeah. Talking about hitting the inside oh, half of the God. baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound and then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Fastball well outside. No one, no that evens it up one and one. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. One ball. Two out with the man at first. Fouled away. He'll try again one two. To two balls and two strikes now. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Fastball is outside. It's full now, three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Three-two pitch. Count remains full. The 3 2 one more time. Four, four, and he four. takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Digging in the switch hitter, Omar Vizquel. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First delivery to him on the way. Aye. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. Two down, runners at first and second. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. Eighth inning coming up. Detroit is out in front, eight to nothing. Now batting, Eduardo Escobar. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The 2-1 taken below the zone for a ball and when you're already down by a bunch this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes back up the middle throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight now back Digging in once again, Brandon Lowe. So far, two for three in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Well, count one and oh. The one oh. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. 
around first. He's digging for second. And this will bang up against the wall. And he is in to second with a double, his third hit of the night. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Into the box, Nicholas Castellanos. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Skied into straightaway right. Yelich is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And up steps Salvador Perez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. One and two to the Tigers catcher. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Tigers leave one as it remains an eight to nothing ball game. Into the box, Jonathan Villar. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. And it's fouled away. One and two. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Mancini will wait on it, and he's got it for out number one. Striding in for the Indians, Christian Yelich. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. First pitch on its way. Nope. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. And he popped him up. Springer coming on, but this will land untouched. And now pitch on the way. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Fouled off. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, no preferential treatment now there. Back. Sometimes we That's see great hitters hitter. have their calls go Brent their way on close pitches, but not Brent this time. Goal. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. In now, Francisco Lindor as he rips it on the ground to second. 
And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Indians go down one, two, three. Still eight, nothing. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in. Ty Cobb. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch of the at bat. The 1 0 home. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Correa left field and carrying well but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. It's not exactly no, Fenway Park out there in left field, but a ball up the wall right. is not a gimme right. double here either. So even though he almost drove it out of the ballpark, it was well played off the carom. They got it in quickly, and he might consider himself lucky to beat that throw into second base. Into the box now, Trey Mancini. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. -oh. I got a ball, one strike. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Yelich is there, two down. Striding forward now is the DH, Mike Mustakis. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Tigers lead this one eight to nothing. Now at the plate, Chris Bryant. He's going to lead things Big off in their half of the ninth as they try to the avoid the dreaded play. shutout. It's never a good feeling to get oh, shut yeah. out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. First pitch coming. Here it is. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his eyes lit up at the plate. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. 
I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Carlos Santana is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. Oh. Nobody out, runner on first. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. Seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. He's set now the pitch line hard to the left side but foul the one two misses for the second ball tough to take a pitch like that right there especially in a one two count you almost get in that auto swing mode great job to work the count back to even Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Now the three and two pitch. And this one misses to Santana and he'll take that free pass down to first. Boy, oh boy. That's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch. I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Your attention, please. So a new pitcher entering the fray now. It'll be the hard-throwing right-hander Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell. Fran Moreas will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. From the belt, the pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Kimbrell, a former Red Sox, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Good waste pitch, one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. None out, runners at first and second. And he fouls this one off. The 1 2 is a wave and a miss he struck him out it's been a really rough day for this lineup there's really no other way to say it not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen At the plate, Victor Robles. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's two for three and looking for more here. Comes set with the 0-1. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. 
Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen the in these days, four. but it doesn't make it any Not less yet. impressive to me. I Boom. love watching Thank guys God. come in and blow smoke right by guys. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 0 home. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Kimbrell pauses. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Mancini is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs feels good to dominate a game like that and eight nothing shutout this evening the Detroit Tigers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Blake Snell earns the victory on the mound Mike Fulton struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com Here now is our final line score tonight.